guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Meg of Meg's Makeup Life. I'm hoping that by recording through the YouTube um, app, it will show up a little bit better. I realize I've gone back and watched a few of my videos and it's so frustrating to like see that it's all garbled and everything. I'm working on saving up money to get like a better recording thing, but you know. So I just wanted to quickly um, go through a couple things that I got in my BoxyCharm for the month of July. I realized that, ooh, sorry guys. I realized that this is a bit late, but it was, they were a couple of products that like I really wanted the opportunity to test out before I just hopped on and was like, this is what I think. Um, I, let's stick on my teeth. Oh, that's great. No biggie, no biggie. All right. So, um, one of the things that I got in my box that I was actually super duper excited about is this right here. It is Dr. Brandt, um, no more, no more baggage, needles, no more, needles, no more, no more baggage, ID puffing gel. Okay. I have, um, a very, 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 like you can see when I turn my head down, this eye is much puffier than this eye, but I have puffiness in both of them there. Um, so I was super excited because this is actually a product that I had been looking at, um, in researching ID puffing gels and trying to find one that I wanted to try. This one is in the, um, $35 range, I believe. It may even be $42. I don't know. It's somewhere right around there. Um, but I was really interested in it, so I was really hoping because um, for those of you that don't know, BoxyCharm is like a monthly subscription box that you get, and you don't, like there's different variations of them, so you never know exactly which one you're getting. So I was super duper excited when I got this in my box. Um, I'll show you what the consistency of it looks like here. It's like this orange color. You can see that. And then like, so the instructions are you need to warm it up between your fingers and then apply that to your face. So um, you have to be careful with what products you are using around your face with this. If you use anything that has a lot of silicone in it, um, primer wise, this will like ball up and bead up and just be a total waste. Um, I honestly have not seen, I used it today. Do you see the puffiness in my eye here? Like, I, I used it on both sides. Um, I honestly have not seen any sort of de-puffing happening, which I understand that with some eye creams, like, it does take a little bit of time to, like, build up the effect if you're looking for, like, anti-wrinkles or something like that. But with the de-puffing gel, I feel like you should be able to see that happen. Like, I want to put it on and have my eyes de-puffed. And this did not do anything for me. I did see a bunch of people on the BoxyCharm Instagram page talking about how like it was their favorite product and it was a miracle and it did wonders for them. It did absolutely nothing for me. I've been using it since I got it about two weeks ago. Um, yeah, and I'm just like wicked unimpressed. I don't feel like it does anything. It says on here, Dr. Brandt recommends after your eye moisturizer, warm a tiny amount between your fingers and gently pat on bags and dark circles. Use alone or under makeup for best results. Let dry between applications. Um, but it's just, it, I mean, I don't know. I, I've like, I've tried it with makeup. I've tried it without makeup. I've tried it in the morning. I've, I've tried it at night. I've tried it all different times and it just does nothing. Zero. So I'm really glad that I did not spend my hard earned money on this little bad boy. Um, I'll probably... I don't know. I don't even know like what the purpose of continuing using it is. I feel bad wasting it and just tossing it out. But like, mm, meh. Um, the other thing that I got, which I cannot locate at the moment, um, because it was, oh, here it is, is this, it is the, um, Wander Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. It comes in a little tube like this. You can see that there. Um, so you just, you know, open this guy up. It's got, it's got a nice spoolie on it. It's okay. Um, it's not like my favorite mascara. Um, my honest to God, my favorite mascara is um, the Epic Mascara from Unique. It's the One Step Mascara. Um, so I kind of hold everything like to that standard. Like I know everybody was going bananas over Lash Paradise. I hate this stuff. I think it's junk. Like I go to put it on and it like flicks all over my face. Um, because my eyes are so puffy, um, a lot of times I will get, if I don't have a good mascara on, I will get it like wearing down on my eyes here because when I smile and stuff, it, it reaches up and touches my lashes. Um, both of these transfer horribly onto my face. Um, 
So I wasn't too pumped about that. Definitely not something that I'm like rushing onto Sephora or Ulta and trying to repurchase like for myself. Like I'll probably use it just so that it gets used up. But after that, meh, whatever. Um, the other thing I have to be careful about, I did get the Crown Pro palette. Um, mine arrived like this. If you can see that there, this is like totally just crushed, which I was super bummed about because this was like one of the colors I was the most excited about because it's like like this red, like fiery, coppery metallic. And um, this palette is what I have on my eyes today, um, but I do like the palette. I think it's nice. Um, I don't remember exactly for how much it retails for. I want to say... I want to say it's in the $30 range. Do I think it's worth $30? No, I don't. I think there are a lot of really nice palettes out there um, that you could get for a lot cheaper money. Um, it's an okay palette. I would not personally spend my own money on it. I have a lot of these colors already. I have the, the sheet over it just because I'm so nervous about this one. Um, like I do have a lot of these colors already. Um, this is the, the metallic I have on my eyes today though. It is pretty. I just... I don't know. It's pretty, but like I'm not going crazy over it. I've used it. I've used it a couple of times. It blends pretty well. The pigmentation is decent, um, but it's not something like, oh my God, like I'm so excited that I got this and I'm going to use it all the time. Like, mm, it's all right. Um, so I feel like I'm just like on everything today. So um, the other thing I wanted to talk about really quickly, I've been like on the hunt. So if you are somebody that likes liquid eyeshadows in please leave a comment down below and let me know what it is that you like to use because this is the issue that I'm having. I have the Kat Von D, um, where did it go? I have it here somewhere. I have the Kat Von D um, tattoo liquid liner. It dries out, dried out on me super fast. Like I think I used it for like two weeks and I started having trouble getting the product into the applicator. So I went and got these this Koki one, um, which generally I love Koki products. Like I have I have their green on in my waterline today. Um, I love like their eyeshadow palette, all of that stuff. Um, the Peachy Queen is like my favorite. I love it. Their products are great. This one just kind of fell short for me. Like. It looks great when you swatch it, but trying to use it yesterday, I've only bought this at the beginning of the week, and I already am having trouble getting the product to come out on my eye. Um, so, like, it's just really annoying to have to deal with. It says to store it upside down, which I did, like, the, the tip pointing down, and so I did that to make sure, like, that wasn't the issue, and I still, like, I have the hardest, like, if you look, when I go to apply it with the tip, like, it's hard to get the stuff to come out. Like, look at this. I'm pressing, and there's, like, nothing there. If you lay it sideways, then there's, like, product up at the top of it, but although that's not working great for me. So if you are somebody that loves to use liquid eyeliner, I need it to be, like, waterproof and hydroproof. I have super duper watery eyes, and what ends up happening to me if I don't use the right liner is by the end of the night, the little wing that I have here will be gone. It'll just disappear because my tears and the acidity of them just, like eat it away and it's annoying. So I am on the hunt for that. Um, but those are my little like update reviews on the BoxyCharm. I feel like there was something else that came in it, but I honestly like, I don't know what that was because it was, I don't know. But I was really bummed out about this Dr. Brandt because I know it is a product that a lot of people swear by and it just fell so flat for me. So um, if you have any questions, any products you would like to see me review, please leave them in the comments below. Make sure you hit a big thumbs up for this video and subscribe to the channel before you leave um, so you can keep coming back for more goodness. Uh, but that is it for today. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with me. I will talk to you soon. Stay fierce, my friends. Bye, guys.